thing I keep imagining. When I first heard that shit, that's the only thing I imagined in my head was Samuel L. Jackson from Hateful Eight, bro. <laughs> you ain't never been this thirsty. thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you been thirsty, but you ain't never been this thirsty. <laughs> Record it in three, two, one. Welcome to another episode of Dread Dance Podcast. My name is Clint. My name is Matt. And we back for another movie review. This is probably our first documentary review, correct? Um, first doc? Maybe. I don't know. We do a lot of shit. We do a lot of shit. We do a lot of shit. <laughs> this is true. Uh, it may not be our first doc. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have the lighter. But this is the review for the Fire Festival. Uh. <laughs> it actually went, burned up and went to flames. <laughs> uh... Malcolm, what would you do for a bottle of water? <laughs> I, I tell you what I won't do. <laughs> Take a shower, brush your teeth, use some mouthwash. Right. <laughs> I ain't that. I ain't, I ain't never that thirsty for no oh, water, bro. Man. All right. So this is about. Uh, I think his name is. I was about to say Billy McFarlane. But I don't think that's it though. Nah. That the nigga. I know it's Billy. Yeah, it's Billy. Uh, oh my God. The the. Fire festival that Billy and um, oh, Ja Rule. Yeah, it's Billy McFarlane. Oh, it's Billy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that festival that him and Ja Rule were like promoting and shit. Because it all kind of came from an app or some shit. No. All right. So it's pretty much the app. The app sounded. This it sounded, it sounded so familiar. It sounded. But it sounded familiar. It sounded really yeah. good. But it also sounded really familiar. Like I, like I've heard of this fucking app before. But the app just turned into a, a booking agency type thing, and then on to a music. And it just jumped thing. to a music festival yeah. thing somehow, somehow, whatever fucking reason they did it. Um, the whole thing was just a big ass scheme, bro. Yeah, it was. Like it you was, know, it was literally like a like a plot hole. Like that's about it. You know what's fucked up? Like this dude had mad schemes before that shit. Yeah. And, and after. And after. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga did not learn his lesson. <laughs> no, clearly not. He did not like, learn his lesson. I was bro. like, bruh, ain't no way. Like, ain't no way, like, <laughs> right, so, <laughs> get away with that, bro. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, I can't really remember. I haven't watched it since, like, a week or two, whatever the case is. But it's pretty much Billy Man Fallen and Highest Star Rule, they talk about this whole thing going on. They decide to, because Billy already has an island. He has uh, Pablo Escobar's old island, or whatever the case yeah. is, or a sanctioned uh, so old, sad. whatever the fuck it is. And he throws parties here all the time, for the case is what some reason in his mind, he said, hey, why not throw a music festival here? Mm-hmm. Um, so he gets a bunch of influence. Now, now we're people of the internet. Like, we all the internet all the time and everything like that. Yeah. But hiring influencers and, like, like it was only females that I, and I'm pretty sure that he hired for mm-hmm. as influencers were to come to the Bahamas or come to this island, Pablo Escobar's island, and shoot a video of... of a fake promo video yeah, right. to get people drawn into this island or into this fantasy. Because that's what they are. It was that's what they were really doing. They said that multiple times. Like we just gonna sell these people a dream. Yeah, and that's literally what the fuck that's they was doing. Was doing. <laughs> that's yeah. literally what the fuck they was doing. And people fell for this shit too. But I didn't know that you could just like. I didn't know people were that stupid. Unfortunately, like I know people are stupid. Oh. Wait. But bro, I wouldn't go to extreme and say they stupid. Bro, sometimes people people are, people are too trusting. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. They too hey, trusting. Trusting the stupid sound like <laughs> two complete same things to me right about. Oh, no. <laughs> if, it was, if it was me, I, I, I like to check in with shit. Even if like shit has been around for a long time, I still like to like look at stuff. Mm-hmm. Nigga, it's called Google Reviews, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that shit crazy. It's called bro. Reviews, my nigga. Like, come on, bro. So... Um, I can't remember the amount of people, but it's thousands. Probably, probably hit a million for all I fucking know. But it's thousands of people. Um, pretty much getting sucked into going to a a once in a lifetime opportunity island. It's big ass. It's pretty much rolling loud or a lot of palooza or something yeah, like that. It was on a supposed fucking to be island. like that. Um, but it wasn't. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. Um, <laughs> the crazy thing is, my nigga, like they tried to get, they tried to fit uh a year's worth of work. Into six weeks, I think, or six to eight weeks. That they, they said, I think. I think, like, as it got closer and closer, it was like less time than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, like, I'm gonna. I don't even. I think they set up the stage on the last fucking day, <laughs> like the last day before people started arriving. And no, shit. they were setting up the houses. 
that too. The, but the, uh, how how is how how that, that's also my thing too. Yeah. Like, do you think it probably would have worked if they would have if it, it didn't rain? Like, was the raining condition like they tried to blame the rain? Like, they tried oh, to blame God. so many things going left. No, bro. They like, they wouldn't put all that shit. All that shit. That like if they did, I want to say if it was a small amount of people that were invited. <laughs> Before we before we get to Maybe. that, before we get to that, okay, because I don't want to skip too far because people might think if they haven't seen that they, they might not know. All right, so the the plan was to have the the, the party on Pablo Escobar's island. They ran their mouth. The promo video that came out, the person um, that owns the, the person the that owns the island, island said that we want to stop portray, portraying this island as Pablo Escobar's island. They they blatantly like disobeyed headlined <laughs> on their promo video. Pablo Escobar's old island, or whatever the case is, yep. a drug island, whatever the fuck it is in the video, because that was supposed to bring that attraction bring people there. Like people you can come shit. be a drug lord, whoever wants to be a drug lord, I come feel to like this, a come drug to this lord. Part. Yeah, yeah, come to this island, and they got kicked off that island. So they're in the Bahamas. So they got kicked off. I want to say two or three islands, maybe. Or well, like yeah, the, they got the island off that they that island, the island that they did the promo for. Yeah, and, I, I and then they they found, went to a couple, went islands. To a couple <laughs> islands, and the like, last the island. islands didn't match what they like. I, I guess needed wise for yeah. like all the shit that they were selling planning to people, like area. planning to sell to people, like dream wise. Yeah. So they wanted to find like they went to a couple islands to find something that matched. Like, that that kind of match similar to that. One. Yeah, the the first one or some shit, and yeah. they ended up they, they ended, ended up, up on some some other island. And at the time when they got it, this island, whatever space on the island that they booked, it was already a big ass festival happening on the island that weekend. And this is like not one of the regular festivals. This is the one of the big ass festivals that people actually travel around. Yeah, it's like one the of those world culture, from culture to get to this fucking island. <laughs> like, so that means like everything is booked. Uh, hotels, hotels, everything. Airbnbs, flights, flights. Everything is already booked. What? Which is another thing. Uh. Is it that easy to get like a like a pilot license in just the uh, aircraft? Because <laughs> well, man, you got money. That's the whole thing, though. Man, I don't even think Billy had a dollar in his motherfucking pocket. Bro. Uh, Bill, but Billy he made had it money. He was just scamming <laughs> motherfuckers. He had people's the right. other people's money. It, it's so much shit in this documentary. Like it's just hard to like go on one key point because once you because once you say something like you just think of a whole new scam that this man had going on. Yeah. Like my man was borrowing money from so many people. Like he was getting at the end of the end of the documentary, we found out he was getting sued by so many fucking people for all them money that he was borrowing because. He was supposed to make it back. Yep. He, I'm pretty sure he made zero cent back <laughs> at the end of the like fucking my, day. My, he was spending money just as fast as he was giving money. And, bro, like, I don't even know how people, bro, I just need somebody to invest in us. <laughs> the way they've been investing in Billy, but they good. That shit is wild, bro. Like, motherfuckers, <laughs> like, because they, I, I forgot who the fuck exactly who he said was coming to this, um, Island to perform and shit. But oh like, man, nigga, that that was another thing that had me dying. Like, that's all I need to say too. is like the Migos finna be on the podcast. People gonna invest, my nigga. That's all. <laughs> shit, come on, damn fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> like, that's all I gotta say. Like, come on, that, bro. That's another thing that had me rolling because like all the stars that they promised and Everybody like headlining from like Drake to like, yeah, they said Rome Drake was on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody and they was like. And most of these, like, they people were asking these people, like, what the fuck? Yeah. I invest. What the fuck is that? Uh, I, we, book, we booked that? It's like, <laughs> nah, they say we supposed to be there. Nah, yeah, they that, ain't talked to our agent. That's what, uh, that's what Maroon 5 had said, too. They put out a tweet, like, unfortunately, <laughs> due to conditions and shit like that, yeah, this we is won't not be making it. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, it's not due to conditions. You motherfuckers didn't know shit about this shit. <laughs> y'all just want to clear y'all name. Yeah, they don't want to be involved with that bullshit. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this shit went up in flames, my nigga. Um, I know Billy got sentenced to, what, like six years in feds? Uh, ja Rule got, what, nothing? I don't, I don't know. He should get something, too. Bro, this shit was wild, my nigga. Like, ja Rule was laying there in every clip of this fucking documentary, my nigga. I mean, Eric. <laughs> he was standing next to Billy the whole time. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how the fuck did he get scot free, low key. <laughs> like I'm really trying to understand that shit. Like my nigga, this nigga should not be scot free because my nigga, you was literally next to Billy this whole time. Like he was there from 
from start to finish. Yeah. Even after finish, by the way, you were still around Billy. You just weren't there for the second scam. You wasn't there for uh, New York City or uh, NYC VIP access or whatever the fuck that shit was called. Oh, uh, you talking, <laughs> talking about the, uh, what was that, those platinum cards? Yeah. Things? No, no, the platinum cards happened before the whole concert and everything else. So I'm talking about the. No, the, no, the wristband. No, yeah. no, no. I'm talking about when he was sending out emails to the people that went to the party Oh, yeah, festival. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say, get these tickets for I half off of this on the show. Like, no, nah, nigga, you didn't learn shit. <laughs> like, nigga, you still scamming. <laughs> like, like, my nigga. He's like, uh, <sighs> what was funny to me was, like, he's like, the I guess the camera crew or whatever he had for the the same people that worked with him when uh, they went to, originally went to that island. Yeah. When they shot the promo at. He he had called them like yo, uh, I got some other bench, uh, business venture and shit. I was like, nigga, ain't you on an think, investigation? And they like they like shoot the video and stuff. And, yeah, yeah, and I think all right. So the 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 one that's on Netflix because it's two of them. The one that's on Netflix, that's from the perspective of I guess um, all the workers, all everybody the workers that was pretty much involved but, with it. But like the found cam footage that was showed in the Netflix one, that's what the Hulu one is. It's all found footage. So that's all the shit that's like directly. No, no, no. That's directly like from, from Billy. Uh, oh, from the uh, his crew. Yeah, crew that's there. that's directly from his crew. That's that's what people saying. I don't know. I haven't checked the Hulu one out, but like you said, the one on Netflix from like pretty much the workers and whoever else and like everybody except Billy, because <laughs> Billy is the only one that we didn't see on this documentary. But the one on Hulu is like direct Billy. So it's like it's directly him. So I want that's why I want to check that one out. Uh see what his response is. Yeah, I want to see, I want to see the nigga sweat because I saw this nigga sweat like one time during his whole documentary. My nigga, I was like, no, that ain't good enough, bro. Because this shit is wild, bro. Bro, bro <laughs> is a piece of shit too. Because um, when he uh, had uh, what the fuck? Is he, like it was like a meme or whatever. I guess when he was like getting uh, like the feds like. Like about to come or some shit. Yeah, and rain down on his ass. He he fired like everybody so bogusly. Mm-hmm. He, my man's was like, no. Well, no, I I'm not gonna say you don't him. have a job. He didn't fire him. He but, said, you know what? You can't. What did he say? You can't quit. You but can't quit. I'm not gonna pay you either. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I was like, like what? It's like the so I can't quit and file unemployment, but you're not no, gonna pay me. Pay me either. So, what the fuck what? am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, uh, I was like, oh, hell and no, And the even bro. more crazy part, my nigga, like, he did that to the motherfuckers that didn't even know shit about the festival, though. Like, yeah, he did that to motherfuckers that ain't had shit to do with the festival. Like, the people that he deliberately kept out of the fucking festival information and everything. Yeah, that was, those were the people, like, like it was two teams. It was the teams that were working the, the on, the app. App, app, on the app, yeah, and then yeah. it was the people the that was people. working at, at the festival. Yeah, shit. bro, like, how the so, fuck like, you gonna do that shit to the people that... <laughs> They even had shit to do with do with the shit fucking up, bro. And what what's crazy is the app sounded like it was a decent idea. Yeah, like yeah. it it, it yeah, sounded it like what it was just a book now app and make, make, that, make it easier. Yeah, now that shit is like oh, yeah, trash because now. of that. Oh, yeah, that shit's bad now. <laughs> yeah. I I would be so pissed, man. Um <laughs> I don't know if we talked about this nigga, but let's let's, let's get this nigga out the way. Um <laughs> Andy. Man. <laughs> Uh, you the most dedicated nigga I know. Oh, for real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey. I want to say, I, a, all my years of working in my We Andy need an Andy. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't never met an Andy. I have never been an Andy, bro. <laughs> hey, we need an Andy in our lives, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, my nigga. We need an Andy in our lives, bro. Cause, um, man, that shit wow, bro. My man, my uh, man Billy was like, hey. You get a call in the middle of the night. I'm gonna Sam, need you to we do got this much something. water. You got this much water stuck in customs. <laughs> I need you to go suck this dude's dick. You ain't shit, Billy. Billy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but my thing is, like, like, why do you go straight to the gay guy, though? Two at the same time. Yeah, that was fucked up. Cause... You go straight to the gay guy. We didn't see what the negotiations were before we get sucking dick. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I, how do you go from how do you go from like I, knowing you owe this people like, money? I, know, I understand you ain't got the money, Billy, but um, I need my dick, dick suck. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> like uh, Billy, I know you out here struggling or whatever the case is because you this water is just stuck in customs. But look, me, and you could work a deal out. I just need my dick sucked. <laughs> 
I can't even remember what water it was. It wasn't even. Uh, I forgot what kind of water it was, it? bro. I don't even oh, think it was. Shit. I don't even think it was Fiji water, bro. Nah, hell no, nah, I want Fiji water. <laughs> I can't remember what the fuck it was, bro. Let me see if I can find it right there. Oh place, man, that 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 shit had me rolling, bro. I was like, oh no. Nah. I, I, I was like. I was like, okay, where, where, where are you going with this? So he was like, yeah, he's gonna need you to do something. I thought he's gonna ask him, no, ask him, like say. spot the money or some shit. Yeah, it don't even say what at first. Was. Then my man was like, uh, he say, he's like, yeah, shit. I'm gonna need you to go suck this, this man's dick. You gotta customs. go suck customs dick, to, so we can get these barrels of water. He was What's like. That? He's, my man was so dedicated. My man was, he was like, a shower. I, he's like, I went home, I Watch took a shower. <laughs> I clean myself up. Clean a myself bit. up a bit. It's like uh, brush my teeth, brush my teeth mouthwash. And got some mouthwash, and I was prepared to suck this man's dick. I was like, I was like, no, no. But well, luckily, I didn't have to do it. You're lying. You're lying. You sucked that man's dick, and you got that water. You just didn't want to put it out there in the documentary. Yeah, I, I was like, hey, no, I was like, man. He's like, well, luckily, the guy is nice enough. No, he's like, he yeah, he's dick. like, just pay. Me. He's like, just, just pay me when you get the money. Yeah, I was like, like nah, Andy, you suck that dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got a lot of us, Andy. You ain't got a lot of us, Andy. We know, we know. Oh man, that shit was wild, bro. That was the wildest thing I've. That probably Ever is the wildest thing that I've heard in a documentary. Bro. In a documentary, and I've heard yeah. some wild shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but saying that, a person that you know, I think he said they known each other for like either twenty. No, they they known each other for a while. How old is this guy? Uh, he's he's twenty seven. Seven, I think Billy's twenty. I thought he said he knew him from like twenty years or some shit like that. Probably one twenty years. No, it's probably, probably less than that. Yeah, probably like yes. ten or something yeah. like that. Yeah, but um, like my nigga, I, we've known each other for like two plus years, correct? Yeah. Uh, you probably fuck me up if I ask you to suck some dick for some water, bro. <laughs> Nigga, I'm coming Stop at to you. Keep the podcast alive. <laughs> if somebody was to tell me today, if you were to call me and tell me today, bro, it's like, hey, uh, you two want you to come and suck dick. Come to Chicago office. Come to Chicago. like, come to the LA office and, and suck the dick so he can keep the clock. No, I'm trying to get flued out. I'm like, like bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Uh, we can just start the fuck over. <laughs> we can start at one page and make a whole new page, bro. I, I can't do that. Can't oh, do that at all. Man. That's that's the wild shit, bro. I ain't never heard no shit like that, bro. Yeah, man. That's like that's that that is fucked up. That, like that is fucked up for you to even ask a person like that. I've never heard gay, somebody, not bro. gay. Like that's yeah. fucked up. Period. Like the don't, don't the call like me, don't call, me call somebody like that. And yeah, talking about suck some dick, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't the two a.m. What you doing text? Or are you up text? <laughs> <laughs> like like don't hit me with that, Billy. <laughs> Really an awful human being, bro. Yeah. I was like, this nigga is awful, man. Yeah, man, that was the wildest part of the whole motherfucking documentary, bro. Like, that makes that made you want to just finish the documentary because this is before they even got into the part of everybody getting stranded on the fucking island. Yeah, like all that shit even all the island shit didn't even happen. Like everybody started arriving and everything. Like this is way before that. Mm-hmm. So now let's get to the part when people start arriving. Oh man, my yeah, nigga. So, um, from food, so first, first off. Yeah. Fuck, fuck the food, my nigga. First off, y'all just hop on a random fucking bus and just let take y'all to wherever the fuck it takes y'all to and say, the, the driver don't even tell you that this is for the fire Fest, my nigga. They just hopped on the bus and said, go. <laughs> and then they got dropped off at the fucking restaurant. And I feel sorry for that, um, the, the restaurant lady that made them the sandwiches and shit. Oh, that yeah. had to dig into her own personal funds and shit. She, I think she was like, uh, 50000 or something like that? Yeah. Like, it was in her uh, funds or whatever? A lot, like, a lot. Uh, watching this too, like you see, like how much the islanders got screwed over too. Oh yeah, because they like, got, they got um, fucked over so much that they went to go looking for the other islander, and that nigga had to move. Yeah, <laughs> Cause, uh, yeah, because he was like, I guess the head of construction and shit. No, he was just like, solic- he was just soliciting, like, yeah, I got some work for y'all if y'all want to come come work, and. They worked for like two weeks straight, like with no yeah, like they barely was, breaks and shit they like that. Were, yeah, that they were still like, working when the uh, the festival was still going on because yeah. people, people still didn't have places and shit. That shit was crazy. My man's was like, uh, everybody was like, all right, so where's the money? And he's like, he's like, you know, calling Billy. He's like, well, it's, it's gonna it's gonna come. It's gonna get there. I'm gonna get paid like yeah. one dime, bro. That shit was crazy. Then what was super crazy was 
My nigga Billy called the the video of that. Oh, at the end of the interview? Like, hey, this Billy right here. Hey, Billy, I'm talking to you. I'm talking about you right now in the interview. That motherfucker hung up. Said, all right, Billy. (laughs) Yeah, that shit was wild, bro. So the conditions of these motherfuckers, so they got them to, um, what, I forgot. They said some hurricane. I'm not sure which one it was. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. They said they pretty much got hurricane tents, and they tried to dress them up so pretty. Oh, yeah. They tried they, to dress them up so pretty. Shit. Well, my nigga, these were not the, what, the... The like, uh, like, Billers. Yeah, that they were promised and shit like that. Yeah, yeah they, were, they were definitely not the Billers, bro. They got a whole bunch of tents. And, and then at matches. the end of the day, like, they had the tents and everything like that, but like, at the end of the day, my nigga, they still didn't have enough tents for all the people that showed up. Nope. Like, even if the shit didn't get destroyed, even if, like, shit would have went, like, yeah. well planned, and it perfectly would have been and all that shit, like, my nigga, it still was not enough tents. It still was not enough tents. Um, So, yeah, bro. Uh, it was funny seeing like, cause I'm a, I'm just assuming, cause I don't want to call them stupid, but these motherfuckers are stupid, bro. The people are so stupid. Like, I don't want to call them stupid, cause I want to say I guess they made it the best out of what they had or whatever for the case is. But nigga, they just went on a free for all after they figured out like, well, yeah. this is all we got for whatever we paid for, and everybody just split up and like Going saw crazy. ransacking yeah. tents and ransacking lockers and. Taking shit. Yeah, like, my like, Well, I ain't gonna get my money back, but I'm gonna get my money's worth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, bruh. Because the whole time, because the whole time, I'm like, like y'all low key could have found something to do because y'all in the Bahamas, bro. Yeah, some of them was making. You, you didn't have to stay at this fire fest. <laughs> like, I mean, you're in the Bahamas. Like, you can go same... somewhere. If you're gonna bum it out in the street, at least bum it out the street somewhere <laughs> yeah. and have fun. At, <laughs> at least at that by same civilization, time, at least. <laughs> At the same time, you got to remember that 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 uh, whatever culture festival thing that they have yearly, yeah, was happening that same day that they was there. Yeah, that's what I said. I know they yeah. gonna find out where to stay. Yeah, they, they can bump it out on the street somewhere. But at least they'll have fun <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> like when they get, yeah, it, it, was drinking better. though. Oh yeah, they was yeah, drinking they like, they were drinking like a motherfucker. Um, bro, I wish I. I want to see, because in the interview, that, uh, in the documentary, they show like uh, different perspectives of people, like, uh, but they only show like one or two. Like people that was actually um, at the festival, like mm-hmm. the people that were there. Like I actually want to see a documentary, like from a couple people that was from the, at the fire festival. Or they, you know, they probably took some. I think they did take like some footage from like news, uh, news place, uh, newses, and other uh, other people that were like covering the story yeah. when it happened around that time. Because like it was clips and stuff, and like re- regular ass people like mm-hmm. talking about it. Shit. Well, yeah, I want to see. I want to see that though. Like, I want to see like a couple more perspectives because we saw like the. Um, I know it was an Asian guy or was a white guy. Uh, there was a chick. Yeah, it was a chick. It was like an older white guy, but I think he was just like the lawyer or some shit like that, mm-hmm. uh, attorney or some shit like that. I can't remember what the fuck he was. And then there was a guy that was like warning people, like because like he nobody listened. Yeah, his like, my nigga, he, he did it man, on Twitter. This man, this man leaked he's like he only had everything. like. One or two views on on Twitter uh, of his shit. And then after everybody got there, (laughs) then I guess that's when his tweets started blowing up and shit. It wasn't even that. They said it was the one kid that makes the fire festival so funny because I actually remember when this happened. Um, that posted the fucking the cheese sandwich picture mm-hmm. and the shit just went viral. Like, the shit just went up. And I literally remember where that shit happened, bro. Yeah. That shit was funny as shit. Like, bro. I don't know, bro. But I, I I know calling them stupid is probably a bad thing, but my nigga, these kids are stupid, bro. Like you gotta look into shit before you just fly off to a whole fucking different country, my nigga. Yeah. Like some things are just too true to be it, too good true. to be true. Yeah. Like come on, bro. Like you finna you finna you pay what like two thousand dollars probably for a festival ticket or some shit like that. Probably more and than you that. think no? <laughs> yeah, it was probably like yeah. like two, three, or probably like five thousand, and that's cool. That's understandable because Lollapalooza. That that's how much shit a lot of polluters probably cost VIP access for all three days. Three days. Or whatever the case is. But my nigga, you pay five thousand dollars for the go for this fire festival, my nigga. Mm-hmm. And you think you finna get on a private jet <laughs> just for you, you and your plus one or whoever. Oh, you or your whoever. You finna get a your own villa and you finna get all these performances and shit for mm-hmm. an entire fucking weekend for five thousand dollars. <laughs> Some shit you just gotta think about sometimes, bro. <laughs> That doesn't, I'm pretty sure a private jet, that's five right there. <laughs> that's probably more than that. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably five a little bit more than right there, bro. So you're not going to get a fucking private, and they got, they 
looked surprised when the fucking commercial plane came up. Came up, yeah. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck did y'all expect, bro? Like, after y'all seen that commercial that commercial plane, y'all should say, oh, yeah, this is finna go left. This finna go left, bro. Like, I come don't... on, bro. Like, some shit you just gotta, you just gotta notice, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, you can't be that dumb, bro. Then uh, after the fact, like, I think a week before... The people were starting to come there. Then these motherfuckers were trying to get more money out of motherfuckers, but I offer them like uh, the little risk yeah, and that, that shit. Yeah, 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 that dumb shit. Uh, and it was it was supposed to work like uh, you get like more, credit cards or some access, shit. You can, yeah, you get more drinks. Yeah, it's all supposed that to work. Like, what the fuck? Are, this should be an all inclusive. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> I, and I think that thing was like what was it, like ten grand or something like that yeah, for bro. that. Oh, I was man, like, oh wild, fuck. Bro. So at the end of the day, my nigga Billy got like. Uh, so he made motherfuckers invest twenty seven point four million, and that's um I guess the from the investors. But I don't know how much he actually made Me, out of that know. or whatever fuck it is from like just the fire festival people and shit. I forgot the numbers and shit. I don't know all that shit by heart. Well, but, um, shit, they, they, my nigga, like, come on, bro, y'all, is this some? I don't know, bro. That shit was just crazy, man. You gotta <laughs> think sometimes, my nigga. You gotta do research on niggas or something. <laughs> Like, it's the internet. It's the internet age. I know niggas just, I know all the people that went there just use Instagram because they think that's the only motherfucking site, but, my nigga, it's more sites than just Instagram, my nigga. <laughs> it's more apps than Instagram, bro. Y'all got, got to think of something, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> and the crazy part is, my nigga, even more crazy part, my man got caught fire fest over. They try to spin it, make it a good thing, say all oh, this shit is fake news, blase, blase shit. My man Billy get locked the fuck up. Or not locked up, but he goes to he court goes trial, court or whatever. Trial, he, he can't spend no money here. All his funds and shit get frozen. All the assets are frozen, whatever the case is. My niggas go back to scamming. He emails all the motherfuckers that went to the fire festival with another scam, and these dumb motherfuckers fall for it again, <laughs> again. So, so you, so you literally just I got scammed. Some of, them, some of them did, but some of them didn't though. Yeah, the smart motherfucker that went on the documentary said, "Now why the fuck am I getting emails from this same person? Yeah, half off everything, half off everything. Yeah, those smart ones. But my nigga, the, Billy hired some nigga, some random motherfucker that just loves the idea of Fire Festival, whatever the case is, and said, "Hey, come on, you can bring the face of this new brand that I got." <laughs> and started scamming more, scamming the same motherfucker that just got scammed, and these dumb motherfuckers falling for it because y'all got an email address. Because he got all y'all email address, he could just send y'all emails, whatever. Think, Talking about half off Beyonce tickets, half, half off. Uh, yeah, the, was it Taylor Swift or was it uh, Miley yeah. Cyrus? Some, some fucking body. I don't, I don't fucking remember. But my nigga, you literally. I think, I think the employees were hitting them. You too. literally just got scammed two weeks ago. <laughs> you gonna fall for a scam again? You gonna reset a whole nother scam, my nigga? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, I, motherfuckers cannot be this stupid. I think the employees was falling for it. Well, the employees was uh, getting attached to that, too. Because, like, some of them were getting it, too. <laughs> you you want to know something funny, my nigga? I forgot homie's name at the end. Because this is the only time that he came up at the end. The nigga with the dreads. He was like, now, I did some fucked up things in my past. Like, I went to jail for three months. He was like, Billy kept asking me, like, how is jail? I said, my nigga, you go out, it's 23, what did he say, 23, 6 or 23, 7 or some shit like that? He said, mm -hmm. what the fuck that mean? He said, my nigga, you, you are in a cell for 23 hours and you go outside Child for one. one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the fuck, that's what the fuck jail is. He said, you hear niggas getting raped and all this other shit in jail and all this other shit. And Billy was like, yeah, I'm not going to jail. And my man he's just like, like, he's like, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, he was right though. Because I think when they came back, well, they, at, uh, he was talking some more and he was like, you know, he find, I think he finally came to terms with that he wasn't getting away with the shit. Oh, yeah. And that he was going to jail. Because then yeah. he started asking me what, uh, <laughs> like. <laughs> so what happens in jail? It's 23 7, my nigga. It's 23 7, my nigga. You get out and then you went to the feds, my nigga. So you get lucky if you get that twenty three seven. <laughs> they probably just put a window in your shit, and that's that's your that's your free time, my that's nigga. Your free time. Come on, bro. That's why I said, man. Twenty nineteen, bro. I'm even finna start being like I'm finna be like Billy out here. I just ain't gonna be asking my friends suck no dick. <laughs> you better not. You gonna get punched in the face. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, man. That shit was wild. Every documentary was wild as shit. Um, it was. It was. It was. It was worth the watch. Yeah, it definitely was. It was very entertaining. <laughs> it was very entertaining. It was very informative, too. Cause yeah, because I, I can't believe that both of those niggas got away with that shit. Six years ain't shit, low-key. Yeah, and 
And I think he, like, I want to say a couple of those years, it didn't seem pretty long or some shit. Because, like, he, I, I don't know. I don't want to say already that, got, like, He got probably already off. got time served. Yeah, he got time served because he was on probation. And shit yeah, when he decided I was like, to do he on scam. probation. Unless he got fouled or whatever, caught with the other scam and shit like that, my nigga, he already probably got a little time served just based off probation. But, um, yeah, my nigga, six years ain't shit, though. Shit, six years might be coming in the next two years. Nigga might be out. <laughs> and low-key, just to be honest with you, motherfucker, white America, somebody gonna hire this motherfucker just because they seen what the fuck, fuck he just did. did. <laughs> they just gonna have him do it legally this fucking time. That's even the world worst fucking part. Motherfucker gonna get scammed again. <laughs> Like, it seems like you're good with money. <laughs> right. You have a very influential. And you type treat of thing your employees on. well. <laughs> right, man. Like, that's even more crazy part. Like, somebody gonna hire this nigga when he get out of jail. <laughs> gonna have him do the fire fest all over again or some shit. Ain't no telling. One man had t shirts and shit. I was like, the fuck? Bruh, it's like that shit was a train wreck. You got a nerve to show t shirts and motherfuckers wearing that shirt proudly. That just makes you see how motherfucking like motherfuckers just motherfuckers are sheep. Like you say, Malcolm. Yeah. Motherfuckers are sheep. Bro. Sheeple. Sheeple, bro. Sheeple. They just, they just <laughs> wanna be a part of something, bro. That shit crazy as fuck. Cause just from the scam of him, their own personal NYC credit card or whatever the shit is that or the own NYC club card club, whatever fuck shit is from the beginning. Then to this fire fest shit and this other shit, bro. Like, motherfuckers just want to be a part of some shit. And they'll <laughs> do anything or spend any type of money, amount of money, just to be part of this shit, bro. Yeah, that's true. That shit's sad, bro. You know, it, it, it's kind of... fuck. It is sad, but at the same time, I get where some of these people from. Because, like, you never know. some Somebody might have the next Facebook. Or somebody might <laughs> be the next Billy. Billy. <laughs> just don't so, be Andy. <laughs> yeah. That's right. the whole goal here. <laughs> don't be Andy. <laughs> That's the real goal here. <laughs> <laughs> you can have an Andy working at Facebook, or you can have an Andy working for another type of Billy. We need an Andy, Malcolm. We need an Andy. We need to find us an Andy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we make it in this. That's how we make it on YouTube, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Get us an Andy. <laughs> man, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, bro. Well, I think that's it, bro. I don't got us thing. Motherfuckers are stupid. Billy is the fucking goat. <laughs> ja, no, the real goat is Ja Rule. This nigga got off with no charges or nothing. No, nothing. But, um. Well, yeah, my nigga. I think that's it. That's all I got to say about the fire fest, bro. Great success story. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on who, who, who eyes who, you looking yeah, through, <laughs> saying, which window, which window you looking through? Oh yeah, bro. Uh, you good, Malcolm? Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so yeah, this has been an episode of Dread Dance Podcast. My name is Clint. My name is Mal. And we out this bitch. Make sure to follow us all our social media networks, Dread Dance Podcast, and for Twitter, Two Dance with, with Dreads. And we out this bitch. This has been our review, talk, thoughts of everything about the Fire Festival documentary on Netflix. And we out this bitch. How that's all the next documentary or the next review? I don't know. I don't know. And I need you to get these barrels. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Hashtag don't be Andy. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag don't be Andy. <laughs> or, or, or hashtag get an Andy. <laughs> or get an Andy. <laughs> Either one, my nigga. I don't know. Oh, yeah, fuck that shit. I ain't never been that thirsty. <laughs> Hey man, I mean, all the jobs I mean, I've heard, I mean, I've had. I've been on my saliva for the rest of my life. I have to get that thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> all the jobs I ever had, motherfuckers say I'm a hard worker. I ain't that hard of a worker, bro. Uh, bro, bro. Andy is a whole new level. Uh, that's a whole new level, bro. When they call black people lazy, they point to Andy. <laughs> Said you're right. <laughs> you're goddamn right. <laughs> That's what that is, my nigga. When they say oh. black people are lazy, they point to Andy. They point to Andy. <laughs> Andy makes shit happen. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs>